Especially, I mean... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, no, you were asking me if I'd ever how many near fatal car crashes I've had, and I'm saying I, you don't know. How do you know if it's near fatal? It either was or it wasn't. James May is a British journalist, presenter, writer, and author. May is best known for being a presenter on the television series Top Gear with Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond, which he starred back in 1999 and again from 2003 to 2015. He has also presented several other TV series, such as James May's Top Toys, Oz and James Big Wine Adventure, James May's Big Ideas, and James May's Toy Stories. He also wrote a daily column for the motoring selection of The Daily Telegraph, and has published more than 15 books, including May on Motors, On the Road with James May, James May's Car Fever, James May's Man Lab, The Book of Usefulness, and James May, oh, cook. Simple as well, that. Where? <laughs> what was it? Where did you crash it? <laughs> On the runway. I was, I, was, I was... What's a nice way of putting it? I was being overconfident. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is James Daniel May, but is also known as Captain Lost and Captain Slow. He was born on January 16, 1963, in Bristol, England, making him 58 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 1.85 meters or 5 feet 11 inches tall. May was nominated for a Royal Television Society Award for Best Presenter for Top Gear in 2007 and he won an International Motor Film Award for Best Journalism Film for Motown Funk in 2019. In 2014, James was a signatory on the Letter to the Guardian newspaper that expressed support for the idea of Scotland voting against independence from the UK. In 2020, May became half-owner of the Royal Oak Pub in Swallowcliff, Wilkshire, which has been around since the early 18th century. James earned his light aircraft pilot's license in 2006 after training at White Witham Airfield. He traveled by car to the magnetic North Pole in 2007 with his fellow presenter, Jeremy Clarkson, using a modified Toyota Helix. May did many exciting things during the televised trip, including driving a Toyota Helix up the side of the erupting volcano Eyjafjallajökull in Iceland, as well as driving a 1.3-liter Suzuki SJ413 through Bolivia along the Death Road and over the Andes to the Pacific Ocean in Chile. James May is a huge fan of old toys that used to be popular when he was a kid in the United Kingdom, such as Hornby Railways, Airfix model aircraft kits, and Meccano. In fact, he is such an avid fan that he even once created his own show called James May's Top Toys, as well as James May's Toy Stories. May didn't simply relive his childhood by talking about these toys for an hour, then showing them off. He went big. He set for himself and a dedicated team impossible challenges to try and rekindle some of the magic of these old toys. This involved building a house entirely out of Lego building the world's longest racetrack out of Skelextric and the world's longest model railway that ran along an old line from Bidford to Barnstaple in the south of England. Due to the relaxed manner in which James drives, he has been nicknamed Captain Slow. Compared to his two buddies from Top Gear, May prefers to drive in a relaxed way, unless he is behind the wheel of a supercar. James May appeared on Gordon Ramsay's The F Word, a light-hearted cooking show where celebrities were invited to come on and cook with Gordon, showing him their skills, and in James' case, getting blind drunk in the process. Then at the end of each show, the pair competed in a head-to-head -head cook off James has been in a relationship with art critic Sarah Fratter since 2000, and they live together in Hammersmith, West London. In 2020, the couple decided to take a week-long trip to a health clinic in Germany and May was placed on a liver detox. He later said of the experience, after two days, I had a belting headache and could hardly see anymore. I was faint and trembling with hunger. And I went to them, this is ridiculous. I'm on holiday and you've made me ill. You're going to have to give me some food. 
strong crosswinds in a light aircraft and I thought I can sort this out and get mm. it back, but I was wrong. So it ended up upside down and I had to... Seriously? Uh, yeah. Upside down? Mm. He grew up with his mother, Kathleen, father, James, an aluminum factory manager, a brother and two sisters. May studied at Newport's Carleon Endowed Junior School and Rotherham's Oakwood Comprehensive School. And he was a member of the choir at Winston Parish Church. James later enrolled at the Lancaster University's Pendle College to study music, and he learned to play the piano and flute there. After graduation, he took a job as a records officer at the hospital in Chelsea. In 2010, Lancaster University awarded him an honorary doctorate. James May started his career as the sub-editor of the magazine The Engineer, and later started working for the Autocar magazine. He was dismissed from Autocar for playing a prank he had put together an acrostic in one issue. He wrote for many publications and also contributed a regular column, England Made Me, for Car Magazine, along with columns for Top Gear Magazine and The Daily Telegraph. May's biggest work on television was co-presenting the Top Gear series in 1999. He later co-presented the revived series of the show in its second season in 2003. He drove some popular vehicles on the show, including a Bugatti Veyron at 253 miles an hour. He also traveled to the Magnetic North Pole in 2007 using a modified Toyota Helix. He has written several books, including May on Motors in 2006. His other books are Oz and James Big Wine Adventure, James May's 20th Century, Oz and James Drink to Britain, James May's Car Fever, James May's Magnificent Machines, James May's Toy Stories, Airfix Handbook, James May's Toy Stories Lego House, and James May On Board. James May has worked on many science-related shows, mostly as a presenter. He presented Inside Killer Sharks, a documentary for Sky. He also flew in a Royal Air Force Eurofighter Typhoon and registered a speed around 1,320 miles per hour. This was televised for the program James May's 20th Century. Later, he presented shows like James May on the Moon and James May at the Edge of Space. For shooting the latter, he was flown to the stratosphere in a U.S. Air Force Lockheed U-2 spy plane. On March 25, 2015, BBC decided against renewing Jeremy Clarkson's contract, and following the decision, James May also decided not to continue on the show. In 2020, he hosted the cooking show, James May, Oh Cook. He also hosted the travel documentary series, James May, Our Man in Japan. What? Are you Clarkson, that's the jeans. The, the jacket. Oh, gee, jeans are jeans. This is not <laughs> What do you think this of Top Gear? I like it. Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? Yes. yes. I like car shows. He makes money through journalism, TV, and YouTube channel. He has a net worth of $40 million. In 2015, May paid £770,000 for a five-bedroom home in Anstey. He also bought a home in Hammersmith in 2000 for £325,000, and he purchased an adjacent semi-derelict property for £310,000 in 2013. James demolished both homes and began construction on a 3.5 million pound super home in 2019. He has the following vehicles in his garage. A BMW i3. A 1984 Porsche 911. A Rolls Royce Phantom. A Saab 95 Aero. A Tesla Model S100D. A Rolls Royce Cornish. A 1971 Triumph 2000. A 1978 Vauxhall Cavalier MK1. A 2005 Porsche Boxster S. A 2018 Alpine A110 an Alfa Romeo 164, a Mini 1275 GT Special, a Ferrari F430, a Ferrari 
458 Special. A Fiat Panda. A Bentley T2. A Datsun 120Y. And a 1992 Range Rover Classic Vogue. He has previously owned an American Champion 8K CAB Super Decathlon. He has also owned a Cessna A185E Skywagon and a Luscombe 8A Silver Air.